When a permanent injunction was put in place between the Lisa McPherson Trust and the Church of Scientology, it was meant to keep members of the Lisa McPherson Trust 10 feet away from Scientologists and Scientologists 10 feet away from the Lisa McPherson Trust members. It was also in effect for anyone who was an employee or an agent or acting in concert with either the LMT or the Church of Scientology. Therefore, Bob Minton felt that it really should apply to the Clearwater Police, too. Well, sir, I got a request for you. If I can talk to you before you get within 10 feet of me. Uh, could you move back across the street so we can take care of the designated area? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Is it possible that... Boss is coming, sir. What's that? Boss is coming. Well, I mean, if, if, you'd like, if you'd like to pick it over here... I'd appreciate it if you'd stay 10 line. feet away from me, though. Is that possible? These officers were working directly for Scientology on their days off and were being paid $21 an hour. Is that something you're re refusing to do? What's that, Mr. Are you refusing to stay 10 feet away from me while I'm over here picketing? You can do whatever you'd like to do. No, no, I'm not talking about what I'm doing. You know, I'm trying to be rational with you about this. I mean, you've seen that injunction. Now, you know, I'm trying to stay 10 feet away from you. Okay. You're an agent for the Church of Scientology. No, we work for the Clearwater Police Department. Yeah, well, you know, Judge Pennick uh, doesn't exactly see it that way. Now... Did he put it in the court order? It's not in the court order. But we can do this by a show cause order that you would get brought in front of Judge Pennick. Uh, and, you know, he can determine whether you're an agent for the Church of Scientology or not. Okay. You know, Officer Harbert, when he was up there testifying, you know, he testified that he, he goes where Scientology tells him to go, that they pay him, they tell him where to sit, where to stand, you know, where to do everything. Now, Judge Pennick, as you know, said that the Clearwater Police were dangerously close to being a private security force for the city of Clearwater. We... I'm not we, aware of any of that. Okay, well, that's... You know, that's been quoted in the paper. You know, Judge Pennick said it. It's in the court record. We could bring the court record down. I had run into Officer Kelly that, before. You know, I've heard from uh, Mr. Bunker, Mr. Jacobson, and others about some of the events that have happened between themselves and the police officers who've been out here over the course of the last month. Regular viewers of Xenu TV may remember that I was with a couple of German filmmakers when the guy came at me with a hammer. Let me see that camera. How about if I smash that fucker for you? Oh, smash it. You better go. I called the cops. Get the fuck out of here. Is this? Get the fuck out of here. You're on the, the public? Yeah, well, guess what? I'm on the public property, too. You want to you wanna start some shit with me? Hey, hey, hey. How do you like that? But even more unsettling than the attack from Bernard, was the reaction of the Clearwater Police Department. Police is coming. The first to arrive on the scene was Officer Terrence Kelly. Your W-2s have up until the December 31st of last year come from the Church of Scientology on work that was done for the Church of Scientology. We've seen them. We've requested them from the police department. We've got them. So you're being paid by them. And what the injunction prohibits is it prohibits anybody who is an agent servant, employee of the Church of Scientology. The so Bob wasn't making any friends on the force, but the cards were stacked against us already. The second officer to respond to the hammer attack was also paid by Scientology, and it wasn't until a sergeant came by that anyone would even look at the videotape of the hammer attack. Come on, let's go. We gotta go talk to the sergeant. Did he also say he has got your statements on that? Is that? Well, did he talk to you? I mentioned, oh, I mentioned it to him in passing, but he wasn't really interested in it. He was more interested in the fact that there's audio on this camera, and he was concerned that I didn't notify the guy with the hammer that I was recording his audio. And I was just appalled. I said, wait a minute, this guy came after me with a hammer and struck the camera, and you're going to arrest me because there's audio? I mean, if you got a video camera and the light's on and pointed at you, you know there's audio recording. Why don't you take Fine, your statements out? The, I'll turn this in as evidence. Put their statements on. Are you going to be arresting this fellow? I'll wait till the officer conducts his interviews here and everything. All right. We'll find out. Okay, because shouldn't he be arrested if he's actually attacking me with a hammer? I mean, shouldn't that be the case? You know, he could say, uh, again, we're going to have to get your statements 
Right. Sometimes we do not make arrests on felony charges and misdemeanor charges. We refer mm -hmm. to the state attorney's office to get their decision on it. I understand. Um, and again, here's here's what his defense is going to be. Big mean people came up while I was just you know out there doing work, videotaping harassed me. I told them to leave. They didn't. They came walking out. Now he does have a hammer. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but I, and I can even understand. Uh, do you want us to arrest him for aggravated assault? I would like you to arrest him for aggravated assault. Yes. I mean, I turn around and suddenly there's a guy wielding a hammer this close to me, and he, you know. I have the camera out this way to get a you know shot of his face so I know who it is, and he strikes the camera twice. I mean, he could have he could have easily uh, again, struck well, me again. I, I would think under those circumstances, again we're going to ask him. He's going to say I was striking at the camera. Those circumstances, we're going to refer that to the state attorney's office, and we'll take their lead on it if they want to file the file uh, criminal charges for aggravated assault with a weapon. Okay, that's what I'm I'm just preliminary from because that's what their defense is probably going to be. Okay. Okay. So uh, th that means that you're not that he won't be arrested if you find that he actually struck me. He was threatening us with a hammer. Was he, he striking you me. or striking the camera? What did he strike? Well, he struck the camera. Okay. And that's what I'm saying that he's striking at the camera. Mm -hmm. If he was striking you in the head, then that would be aggravated battery, and he would be arrested for that. If he's striking at the camera, it could be interpreted that his main focus with the camera was the camera. Right. Okay. And that's not worthy of arrest. That's worthy of going to the state attorney's office. I mean, yeah. Sergeant, I guess what I'm Because I tell you what, sir, I, and I'm not, you know, taking sides. I'm going to be impartial. Oh, I understand. I'm listening to their side, that they're right. saying their stock. What was it, Tuesday? I, I, I was speaking with you. Was it Tuesday? Yeah. And she's in tears no, because Saturday. she's getting video camera. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now we've got people the same thing. Right. They're saying they're getting video camera. They're upset about it. Right. We'll write it up as striking at the camera with the hammer, get their statements. Yeah, I'll just do a supplement to his report. Yes. And let me talk to you over here. Yeah. You know, I was frightened by this guy. I, okay. I'll be honest with you. I mean, the guy, the guy's Stands wielding a hammering, a hammer this, Did he this say, close oh, to me. Again, sir. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's be the officers. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm maybe going a little bit further. I'm the supervisor. I'm the supervisor. I'm, right. Looks like I'm conducting the investigation. What about whatever. Up? Was he striking at your head or striking at the camera? The fact that he hit the camera, I didn't know what he was going to hit. I mean, uh, the guy's coming after me with a hammer. All right, write it down and then we'll, uh, I'll talk to you. I don't have a pen or anything. Do, do we have something I can use? Of course, the hammer guy wasn't arrested. In fact, they didn't even ask the hammer guy for a copy of his ID. He gave the police a phony name, a phony birth date, and a phony social security number. Yeah, well, guess what? It was only a couple of days later after one of the TV stations said Scientology claims we have no idea who this guy is and we found Hammer Guy's name in Scientology magazines saying these are the courses he's graduated from that the police went back to actually talk to the guy, get his ID, and then they discovered he had skipped bail on a cocaine charge down in Miami Beach and they arrested him then, and he went Look to jail for a year. A couple of months later, the state's attorney department said, eh, we're not going to charge him for any type of assault. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm on the public property, too. You want to you wanna start some shit with me? Our position is the safety of all persons involved. Yeah. 